from the beginning of December till today, one of my dropshipping stores has so far made 1.7 million euros with a 2.5% conversion rate. And in case you're skeptical about these numbers, I'll go ahead and refresh the page for you. There you go. Now, the numbers you just saw are from pure dropshipping, and I'll lay out everything when it comes to dropshipping in this video. What it is, the pros of dropshipping, the cons, and how you can start in the best possible way if that's what you're planning to do. And no, I'll not try to sell you anything. Anyway, let's dive in. Honestly guys, I truly believe that dropshipping is one of the best business models to start with if you're just getting into the world of online business. Sure, there are many upsides and downsides with dropshipping, but I will get to that later because the most important thing now is that you understand what dropshipping is and exactly how it works. Simply, it's a three-step formula. You firstly open an e-commerce website and upload products to it. Then, a customer will visit your e-commerce store and purchase the product. And lastly, your supplier will ship out the product to your customer. So, the only thing you have to do is find a good product to sell, create a store around it, and send traffic to the store. That's it. The rest of the work is taken care of by your supplier. You will never have to hold any inventory of the products you sell because your supplier is. Also, dropshipping is a business model that will keep on growing forever and it will never die out. Every time you see someone on the internet tell you that dropshipping is dead, they're either trying to clickbait you or they have failed, because just make this make sense. If dropshipping was so dead, then how would I and thousands of other people be able to generate this kind of money? And in fact, with a quick Google search, we're able to see that the global dropshipping market is projected to reach a value of $476 billion by 2026, which is almost double what it currently is. And this is according to Oberlo, who managed to grab these numbers from Statista. So this business model will keep growing and just evolve and become more sophisticated. Anyway, it is possible to succeed with dropshipping, but it will require a lot of effort and dedication. You have to know that nothing good comes easy. You have to put in a lot of hours to achieve success in this industry, just like any other industry. That's how business is. I have personally been in this industry since 2018, and I've gained a lot of experience through the years, which allows me to quickly start a new dropshipping store and succeed with it but sometimes even I fail. But the more you know, the easier it becomes. And this brings us to the pros and cons of dropshipping. Let me walk you through what's in there for you if we put everything up in a table. Here we have a table of the pros and cons of dropshipping. Let's begin with the pros. You will firstly learn a lot of valuable skills when dropshipping that you can implement and take away to any other business ventures you might start in the future. You will also learn copywriting, how to set up a website, the art of selling, adaptability to market trends, branding, sourcing products, negotiating, how to do free and paid marketing, how to do email marketing, retargeting, customer support, and social media management. There may even be more pros, but these are the ones that come off the top of my head at the moment. And if you just take a brief second and look at everything that you can learn with dropshipping, you will quickly realize the amount of knowledge that you can acquire. Even if you match the worst case scenario where you fail and move on to something else, through this time while dropshipping, you will have learned a lot of new skills that you can use to try another business model, such as starting a social media marketing agency known as SMMA or freelancing and more. And I just want to put this out there. I see so many people nowadays promote starting a social media marketing agency about copywriting or marketing. But the question is, with what skills are you going to start in SMMA? Let's say that you get a client that pays you $1,000 a month to run ads. But what are you going to bring to the table for that client? You have no experience. How will you know which ad sets to turn off? What changes you should make to your ads to optimize them and get the higher return on ad spend? You will most likely do a really bad job with the first few clients you get and maybe later start doing a decent job. And honestly, I would rather spend my own money trying different marketing tactics and fail than start a social media marketing agency, charging clients thousands of dollars and use their money to learn marketing. But with dropshipping, you will most likely acquire the expertise you need there if you put enough effort, regardless if you succeed or fail. You will learn a lot in many different areas of running a business. It just unlocks so many possibilities for you. However, dropshipping itself isn't as easy as you can see from the pros. 
There are of course cons to this industry that you'll need to tackle. Starting with the main and obvious point that there's a lot to learn and you need to give it time. You'll most likely fail with the first few products you sell, but you will get better and better after each time. Just look at it as if it was a video game. You level up and become better after every obstacle. That's the mindset that I personally go with. Then we have slow shipping times, and that's if you work with a bad supplier. The products available in the market are poor quality products. Not all, but many of them. So it's important that you pick a good product. There may also be high competition if you pick a product that is popular. And even if you pick a product that is not popular and you make it popular, you will see a lot of competitors start popping up. But that's the nature of business. That is why you need to look for ways to always stand out. It can be on pricing, shipping times, branding, marketing, and so on. Now, these are the cons that I know for a certain can be a bit hard at the beginning for you, but all of them can be solved. For the products, for example, you'll be able to identify bad and good products before you even start selling them over time because you will know what the market needs and if there's any demand for a product. Slow shipping times can also be solved if you pick a good supplier. Sure, it will take time, but it can be solved if you don't come up with any excuses and put in the work. So now that we've covered the pros and cons of dropshipping, let's talk about how you can start in the best possible ways. There's a total of 5 steps, with the first one being product, store, marketing, fulfillment, and support. And I'll break them down for you. For product, this is the first step. You need to find a profitable product to sell. This is the foundation of your dropshipping business because without a good product to sell, you won't make it. It does not matter how good you are at marketing, you need a good product. A great example of this is the sliding pizza peel. You can just tell that this will sell because it solves a problem and it has a wow factor effect to it. You can watch the ultimate dropshipping product research method video on my YouTube channel where I go over more about finding products in depth and how to find products to sell completely for free. Coming in at the next step is store building. This goes together with the first step because you will need to build a store around the product you have picked to sell and you will drive all your traffic there. So the store must be visually appealing and converting. I have also made a video on that called Full Shopify Store Setup Tutorial for Beginners where I build a store live. Don't worry guys, I am not trying to sell you anything on these videos. All of them are pure value and straight to the point. After you have built your store, you will need to of course send traffic to the store so that people can buy from you. For this, you have two options. You can either do free marketing or paid marketing. It depends on your budget and how much you are willing to risk. With free marketing, you will basically order the product to your place, record a bunch of short form content about the product and upload it on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. Then if a video goes viral, your sales will explode. But this is not guaranteed. For paid marketing, you will pay these social media platforms to show your ads to people. I talk more in depth about this on the how to start selling with dropshipping YouTube video. Then for fulfillment, that is when you will start shipping out the products you are selling to your customers after they have purchased. You can use fulfillment software to do this if you are just getting started. But after you get about 5 to 10 orders rolling in per day consistently, I recommend that you work with a private supplier. You'll be able to source your products for a cheaper price and also have a much faster shipping time. I have linked the suppliers that I work with on all my dropshipping stores in the description of this video. Contact them and see what they can do for you, but please only message them if you get 5 to 10 orders per day. Lastly, customer support. It's very important to keep customers happy and make sure that they come back for more. After people buy products from your store, they might have questions or run into issues. Giving them great customer support is a must. It helps build trust, shows you are reliable, and keeps customers coming back because they know you've got their back. Now, to conclude everything that I just went through, dropshipping is an amazing business model. You will learn so many fundamental things about running a business. You will keep level up after each store you fail or succeed with, and you will never leave the industry empty handed. And at least, even if you fail, you will have learned a lot of new things, and that is the beauty with it. It's not a get rich quick scheme and honestly, it's not just about making money. The money will come. 
it's more about acquiring a lot of knowledge that will propel you into other business ventures in the future. So should you start dropshipping in 2024? Absolutely. With dedication, persistence and the right mindset, the potential for success is very high. And remember, I'm here to guide you through the whole process, providing valuable content without any hidden sales agenda. Now go out there, find that winning product, build your store and let the dropshipping journey begin. Other than that, I hope I was able to give you a clear understanding on how dropshipping works and why you should start dropshipping. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more available content. Take care for now.